welcome today let's see angular momentum of a rigid body rotating about a fixed axis consider a rigid body which is rotating about an axis passing through the body o and having angular velocity omega let it be composed of a large number of particles of masses m1 m2 m3 etc at distances r1 r2 r3 etc respectively from the axis of rotation let a b a particle of this body at a distance r1 from the origin o and having linear velocity v1 then the angular momentum of this particle a is the moment of its momentum about the origin o hence angular momentum of uh, uh, this particle a is l1 equal to r1 cross p1 here p1 is the linear momentum of the first particle a then you substitute m1 v1 in the place of p1 this is equal to m1 into r1 cross v1 then you write the cross product of r1 cross v1 so l1 is equal to m1 r1 v1 sin theta here theta is the angle between r and p vectors then you substitute r1 omega for v1 finally you will get l1 is equal to m1 r1 square omega this is the angular momentum of the first particle called a then when you consider the whole body uh, it consists of a large number of particles all the particles have same velocity then the total momentum of this body l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus up to ln then you substitute the angular momentum of one particle second particle third particle up to nth particle so first particle we have calculated as m1 r1 square omega this is for if this for the second particle m2 r2 square omega for the third particle m3 r3 square omega for the nth particle it will be m n r n square omega this is equal to summation of m n r n square omega then this equal to omega into summation of m n r n square this uh, sum m n r n square is equal to i here i is the moment of inertia of the body about the axis passing through o and uh, omega is the angular velocity of this rotating rigid body then when the axis of rotation is an axis of symmetry the vectors l and omega will have the same direction thank you